Welcome Assassins to a special episode of Hitman just in time for the holidays. This is Holiday Hoarders, a free bonus missions that the developers released in the hopes that some of us will donate to the World Cancer Research Fund. I'll leave a link to that in the description, but don't worry if you can't afford to make a donation, I made one for you. If you're a subscriber to this channel, I donated one cent on your behalf. I have about 500 subscribers at the time of this video, so that rounds out to about 5 bucks. And I matched that with my own 5 bucks, so together, we were able to raise $10. Now, in this video, I'm going to be doing all 5 challenges in this mission in a single run. It's going to be really fun, and what I really like about this mission, besides it being very thematic, is the fact that it makes reference to the best Christmas movie of all time, Home Alone and Home Alone 2. I don't care what anybody else says, these are the best movies. There's not an introduction video for this mission, but there is some text. So let me go ahead and read through some of that. Happy Holidays 47, your destination is Paris, France. And I must confess, this one's a bit of an odd one. Your targets are Harry Smokey Bagnetto and Marv Slick Gonif, a pair of professional thieves currently breaking into the Palais de Walloweska. Bagnetto and Gonif are both American nationals now living in Paris after a series of botched break-ins and related violent crimes forced them to leave their home country. We've been hired by a worldwide insurance agency to put an end to the activities of these holiday hoarders as their activities have proven to be quite costly for our clients. You are to retire both thieves with extreme prejudice. One last thing 47, I've noticed internal security reports of a strange jingling sound in the palace. The source of these sounds is unknown, but might be worth looking into. This is certainly no traditional contract, but I know you're up for the challenge. Best of luck, 47. Alright, so again, both the targets are the Home Alone guys, so let's read more about them. Harry Smokey Bagnetto grew up in Chicago's Skid Row. Born into delinquency as the son of a lonely prostitute, Harry Bagnetto lived in the streets as a teenager, grifting and stealing as a means of survival. His long lithe fingers enabled him to deftly pick the pockets of visiting tourists, while his partner in crime, middle class thrill seeker Marvin Gonif, sweet talked them. Together, the pair worked the theater district of Chicago before Bagnetto got arrested and sent to the local juvenile detention center for an extended period of time. Eventually, after a series of botched break-ins and an armed robbery that went horribly wrong, Bagnetto convinced Gonev to leave the United States and instead go to Europe to start anew. Harry Bagnetto is a coward at heart but hides behind the facade of a bully. He likes to push people around, threatening them into doing whatever he wants. He has a long list of priors including assault and a robbery and a long history of breaking into expensive mansions with security equipment way beyond his capabilities to overcome. He's a compulsive smoker with notoriously bad breath. Marv Slick Gonif grew up in Chicago, the child of two academics working at the local university. Bored out of his mind and unable to relate to his parents, Gonif started slumming and quickly ran into the delinquent Harry Bagnetto. Together, the youngsters started robbing and deceiving tourists. For Gonif, it was entirely for the kicks, while for Bagnetto, it was necessity in order to survive. One day, the pair got arrested while attempting to break into the mansion belonging to Gonev's neighbor. Bagnetto got sent to the juvenile detention center, while Gonev got confined to his house, where he grew even more distant from his parents. Once out, Bagnetto immediately returned to Gonev, and the two ran away together, spending the next many years as reasonably unsuccessful burglars, experiencing the inside of many county jails across the country. Finally feeling the attention of the federal authorities focused on them, Bagnetto and Gonev recently traveled to Europe to try their luck. And, what better place to start than Paris? Marv Gonif is charming, if somewhat ordinary looking man, whose greatest talent is his ability to evade the long arm of the law. He's addicted to the thrill of breaking the law, and has no concerns for the ones that get hurt in the process. Alright, so here we go, let's begin the mission. And you can see how cool everything looks all decked out for Christmas. There are plenty of presents around for you to open. I'm going to open this one because I'm going to need a brick. And look at this. I just love what they did with the place. Got a little bit of snow. Got some decorations inside here. And look who it is. It's Santa Claus. And he is quite magical indeed, isn't he? Now the five challenges associated with this mission are Bad 47, Santa's Little Helper, Ho Ho Ho, Oh Dear, and Saint 47. And again, I'll be doing all of those in this single run. Now in order to complete Santa's Little Helper, you have to pick up 12 items around the mansion. The first one is this coconut. 
You have to pick these up before Marv and Harry can get their hands on them. I'm gonna destroy the evidence. Doesn't matter. This is not gonna be a silent assassin run because I do need bodies to be found. There is a challenge called Bad 47, and that is to knock out Marv with a brick three times in reference to Home Alone. And that's why I need the body to be found, because I need people to wake him up. So I'm gonna wait till he's almost in front of the door and then knock him out with a brick. Alright, so I need to knock him out two more times before the end of this video. But I'm going to run around and continue collecting items for the Santa's Little Helper Challenge. Second item is this apricot here. Gotta be careful with this guy so he doesn't see me, but I'm okay, looks like. Now the third item is the fireworks remote. And you can see Harry is right behind me. So they run around and try to pick these up, so you gotta try to get them before the thieves do. Now I did bring with me this, so I can knock this guy out. I'm gonna take his disguise. Now there is a baton right here on the table in case you don't have anything. And Santa Claus is right here. He kind of teleports around the mansion. I'm gonna knock him out for now. Now the fourth item that I'm gonna pick up is a circumcision knife of all things. And it's tucked away here in the corner. And you can see Harry right here. He's closely behind me. I'm just picking up the items in front of him. And you can see the body was found and that's Marv's body that I knocked out with a brick down in the basement. And I do want him to be found so I can knock him out again. I have to knock him out with bricks every time, so there's a present here with a couple more bricks. Alright, next up there are some items for Santa's little helper in the attic. I think there is four of them up there. And here is the fifth item. It's this bust. The sixth item is going to be the saber right here. The seventh item is this bust. Eighth item is going to be this microphone. Excellent. Now I'm gonna knock out this guy. That way I can take his disguise. It's gonna serve me a little bit better than this security one that I currently have on. And now I can head back downstairs. I'm gonna take a little shortcut here using a pipe. I'm gonna be a little bit faster, I think. Like that Christmas tree in the corner. They really did a good job capturing a nice little festive mood with this update. Quite enjoyed it. And I've been saving this one for a Christmas day for you guys. So it's nice and festive. So I think before I continue collecting items, I'm gonna try to knock out Marv one more time. So he should be coming up these stairs. Let me see if I can catch him. Looks like he's in the kitchen. Let me get my brick ready. 
And I want to be careful so I don't get seen throwing the brick. Obviously, his body is going to be immediately found. I think that cook will see me if I throw it right now, so I'm just going to wait a little bit. Alright, I'm going to knock him out. Now, nobody's going to come here, so I'm actually just going to throw a coin to get somebody to come here and find the body. Yeah, and it looks like one of the chefs is coming. Perfect. And the body was found. The ninth item for Santa's little helper is this ninja star right here. And the tenth item is going to be a battle axe embedded in the ice. And there's only a couple more items to go. Let me actually get rid of this battle axe. I don't want to be carrying it with me. This tank is going to be the 11th item. And now I did have the ICA leave me a sniper rifle over here in the start stairwell. You'll see why pretty soon. And if you're confused as to what sniper this is, you actually unlock it in Hokkaido. I've recorded those episodes. But I haven't yet edited and uploaded them, but you can look forward to them starting pretty soon. This is the final item for Santa's Little Helper. It's the Cannonball. Now, I've already unlocked the challenge, so you're not going to see it pop up on my screen. And I don't think it pops up right away after you pick up the final item. I think you have to wait around a little bit until the thieves realize that they came up empty-handed and didn't manage to steal anything. I'm going to wait here a little bit. It looks like Marv is coming up the stairs. I'm going to knock him out for the third and final time. And that will unlock the challenge, Bad 47. Hey and he should be coming in pretty soon here. There he is. Let's knock him out. Now, I do need his body to be found. I don't know if it's going to be found over there, so let me just throw something here just to make sure. Let's do the coconut, why not? Oh, somebody found it. Good. All right. That works for me. So now let me head down here. Now, Harry and Marv are both going to reconvene to kind of see the stash that they've managed to steal, which obviously is going to be nothing. But they'll kind of come over here and gripe a little bit about that. It can take a little bit of time for them to make it down here. So, as always, I'll do a little bit of editing until the timing is right. But if they steal items, they'll put that on that little sack there in the in the corner. Alright, here they come. There's Marv, there's Harry. And it's pretty cool, because if you let them get the items, they'll kind of start laying them down here on the mat. Otherwise, they'll just grumble and mumble, as you can hear them. They're very disappointed, in case you can't tell. Alright, so now I'm going to set up the kill. There are two challenges that I'm going to unlock with this kill. One of them is called Ho Ho Ho. And you unlock that challenge by killing Marv and Harry in an accident while disguised as Santa Claus. And there's also the Oh Dear challenge for killing the targets in an explosion after they come up empty-handed from not being able to steal anything. So that's why I knocked out Santa earlier, so I could take his disguise for that challenge. So let me go ahead and take this. Now the cool thing about this Santa costume is that if you unlock all five challenges in this mission, you unlock the suit that you can use in any other place. Gotta wait for those guys to move on before I follow behind. So 
So I'm gonna unlock both the Ho 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 and Odeer challenge in the same shot when I kill them in an explosion while dressed as Santa. And once you unlock all four of these challenges, you unlock a fifth challenge called Saint 47 for completing all the challenges in the mission. So all that's going to be unlocked, of course. So I'm going to position myself for a sniper shot that will allow me to create an explosion and kill both the targets at once. Which will also count as an accident, of course. And the only reason this is not a silent assassin run is because I had to knock out Marv three times and his body was found. Obviously with the body being found that removes any hope of having silent assassin. You can look on the minimap and you can see that the targets are coming up on either side and they're going to meet at the fountain. And there is Marv having some wine. And Harry's somewhere over there. Now they're going to reconvene there and mumble some more about not finding any presents. But they're going to be clustered up in one spot, giving me a perfect opportunity to blow them up. Give them a nice little Christmas present. You can see there's a propane tank right there that I'm going to shoot. And there they are. So the first shot creates a gas leak and the second shot should create an explosion. Letting them enjoy a final sip of their wine there. And there we go. Both targets are down. Great work. Now head towards an exit. So for this mission there is a very cool secret exit that I'm going to be taking. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. Am I in danger? And you can see the Oh Dear challenge popping up there for killing both targets in an explosion after they come up empty handed. And the Saint 47 challenge for completing the four challenges associated with the Holiday Hoarders mission. Make sure I don't get spotted by these guys. And of course the Ho 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 challenge for killing them in an accident while dressed as Santa. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you have a happy holiday. This is the secret exit here. But you know what? Let me set off some fireworks. It's going to make my exit a little bit more cinematic. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode in Hokkaido. And there's the fireworks. Nice. Good timing on that.